Howdy folks, welcome back. Today we are just reloading some Federal 12 gauge holes. We're on the Mech 600 Junior using some Hodgdon International Clays powder and we've got the Cheddite primers of course. Sorry for the crappy lighting, I still haven't finished unpacking from the move but we are officially here at the new Dummy Round compound and as you can see I have a Mech now instead of a Lee Lodol. Interesting, hmm, well Cool. I'm just getting this thing dialed in, so let's uh, go to town with it here. Stage one, you're just going to resize all the way down, get that brass fully resized in case you're going between different guns. Then we're going to drop our primer in here, run one home, but don't go too hard. Comes right off, and we are perfectly primed there. Now we can set it under here. Lower our handle, powder, come back up, need a wad, and then you're shot. And now I can't show you, but it's a perfect fill for my 1 and 1 8 ounce wad here, the uh, 12S3 I think it is. And we've got the eight point crimp there, just like these federal holes require. Still trying to get the pre-crimp dialed in, but let's see here. And that's almost perfect. Very nice. Yes, sir. Well, anyways, I appreciate your patience as I have been moving and getting settled in. I haven't posted a damn thing other than some silly shorts uh, recently, but I appreciate you hanging in there. We have our own range now. Mm -hmm. or, well, I have the space that I can build a range on, so I've been kind of playing out in the woods and clearing some of that out. So I'll have to bring you down there and show you that since this isn't going to be my first weekend off here in about four months or something silly. Oh man, this thing's just running so dang smooth. All you guys telling me how this was way better than the load all. Yeah, no duh, of course it is. But at the time, that's what we had, and I still have it. I'm still going to use it. I still need to put it down here on the bench. Nothing wrong with the load all. They do great work. And it is what I'm going to be using for my 20 gauge loads, because I'm not going to get another mech for that just yet. Although, this is awesome. It doesn't take up any room. You can mount it, and you only need maybe six inches to work with and then enough room to lower your handle. It's pretty awesome. It's got the Spindex pre-crimp that just finds its own, or well, it finds the previously made grooves to use that crimp. And I think I still have it set a little bit heavy. I think we're still set just a bit heavy on the final crimp, but it looks pretty, pretty good. And I shot about a box worth of them the other day and they worked perfectly. So these are actually the second time I've reloaded these specific holes. So these will be three times loaded now. And they're holding up just fine. I was learning how to do it and needed to uh, bring up the pre-cramp a little bit and get dialed in, but we're pretty much there, I'm feeling. It's running pretty smoothly. Much better than it was. I think I still need to come up with the pre-cramp because it's almost trying to cave in one of the shoulders. Just barely have an indention there, but nothing too big. Because the final cramp looks just about perfect, if not just barely too far deep. So they both need to come out just a hair, which I think I can achieve 
by uh, adjusting the action on the camming effect there. Maybe I could be wrong. But they do both have their own individual adjustments. There we go. Oh yeah. And the hardest part of this sequence is reaching up and grabbing the wad out. So if I had just a box of them laying out, need some shot. If I had the wads out in front of me, I would speed up that part of the process. And you know, these are woo, going pretty quick, I'll tell you what. Yeah, perfect. Perfection. See, I reloaded this one with a Winchester primer, and now we're going with the Fiocchi, so. Can't go back though, once you, once you go to the, the dark side, the Euro trash, not Euro trash, the Euro primers that are a larger diameter. You can't go back to the smaller American domestic. Okay, I guess you can. There's tools and ways to do that. But if you were to just randomly grab out of the box and hope you could put whatever primer in, you would be mistaken. Anyways, once again, I apologize for the lack of content. We're going to start cranking it out here real soon. So thanks for the patience. And that's how we load up some 12 gauge on the mech there. So I hope you guys have a good one. And we will see you in the next video.